Okay, so um, I'm starting to realize that last week was probably one of the worst possible times for me to take a break from the game because there were just so many new things that uh, came out, like the new Super Battle Road stages, uh, Ultimate Clash, Explosive Chain Battle, new Extreme Z Battle, and so on and so forth. And it's going to be really hard for me to catch up to everything, but I'm going to try my best over the next couple of days, starting here with the Cell Game Saga stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History. Now, one of the most obvious signs that it's been a while since I've done this is the fact that I already cleared this stage. What happened was um, I thought I was recording, so I did the you know, whole stage with this team right here. And uh, once I did my sign out, I was ready to post it. And I realized that uh, I wasn't recording the entire time, which is a mistake that I haven't made in forever. But it's just been so long that, um, you know, it happened. So uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna do it all over again. It's fine, it's gonna be okay. This is the team. We got the STR Super Vegeta as my lead. We got a rainbowed Exchange Goku and Gohan as the friend lead. And then uh, the rest of the team is the AGL LR Gohan, the Fizz Transforming Vegeta, the AGL Transforming Vegeta, Int LR Super Saiyan Goku, and uh, finally the new AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta, who I haven't had a chance to use too much, but uh, he was pretty impressive in the last run. So there is the team, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Of course, feel free to race me if you want to. And let's get it. Okay, so in the first rotation, we do have the LR Gohan and the Exchange Goku, which is exactly what I wanted. So let's put the Goku in the first slot and try to get him some dodges to increase his, uh, you know, attack and defense. And Hercule should be pretty easy to uh, get rid of here. So no dodge there, 50%, but it's okay. I mean, I'm used to units with high chance to dodge, not dodging. In fact, you have units like the UI Gokus with their great chance to dodge that don't dodge all the time. So it's, it's not a surprise by any means. All right, so this should do it for Hercule. There we go. Moving on to, I think, Gohan now. Oh, my bad, Cell. We got Perfect Cell. And this rotation, I'm gonna do... I mean, I really don't like the Fizz Vegeta right now until he gets an Extreme Z Awakening, but he does share seven links with the STR Super Vegeta, so... We'll keep them together for now, but eventually, I think... I'm gonna do a rotation with uh, the STR Vegeta and the AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta, because they share six links. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, close to five mil for the Super Vegeta. Additional Super. <sighs> no additional. Yo, this guy literally has 25 additional in his hidden potential, right? So that means it's a 50% chance or an additional attack, and he almost never gets it. It's quite frustrating, I gotta say. So uh, I made a mistake there. I should not have put the uh, Fizz Vegeta in the second slot. That was my mistake. And the Goku actually took a lot of damage too. So that was a pretty rough rotation all around, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, here we go. Goku should kill the Cell. If not, then Gohan definitely will finish the job. Uh, we need the Super Saiyan Vegeta, actually, to get some more attacks. Because, um, his passive is reliant on how many attacks he gets, right? So, we'll try to build him up as quickly as we can once we get him together with the SDR Super Vegeta. And it feels like it's too early to use an item. But at the same time, we're pretty low for HP, so I'm gonna see if I can, you know, heal up a good amount. Otherwise, we might have to pop something, because uh, this is not looking good. 
Uh, maybe a princess snake. Yeah, it's super early, but we got pretty bad luck with some of those supers. I think it was partly my fault as well, so I'm not gonna completely blame RNG, but like, we didn't have the best RNG, okay? Let's be honest. So, I think the princess snake is necessary. Um, in case we got super there, we didn't get super, so now it kind of feels like a waste. But it's okay. What can you do, man? You know, better safe than sorry. I'm just hoping that I don't end up needing an item later on. And we get screwed because we had to use an item this early. It should be okay. It should be fine. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm just try to reassure myself because if I have to do this again, a third time, I might just give up. <laughs> I might just, just have to give up at that point because I think it's a sign from the universe that it's just um, it's not meant to be. Not meant to be. Okay, so I would like to put the Goku in the first slot, like this Goku in the first slot because of the dodge chance, but I'm really worried that he's not going to dodge and get us killed. So I think putting Gohan in the first slot makes the most sense. And uh, I was trying to get an 18 key super for the Super Saiyan Goku. Not going to happen though. Um... Some great tanking from the AGL Gohan as expected. Uh, yeah, so far so good, kind of. It's not like the perfect run, but it's it's not going too bad, really. Um, I did manage to actually get the AGL Gohan active skill last time in the last run, which is a shame because it wasn't recording, but that was the first time, I think, and like no exaggeration, right? I think the first time in maybe a year since I've seen that animation, um, which was like pretty exciting, obviously. So I'm hoping we get that today as well, or in this video as well. Uh, before that though, let's pop the active skill for the Super Vegeta. That's gonna be a 50% attack boost. And fingers crossed. We get an additional super as well. Once again, 50% chance, guys, for an additional attack. Not a super, necessarily, but, I mean, like, it's got a proc at some point, right? <laughs> it's got a proc at some point, so let's go. Let me see it. Okay. And we're getting just over 7 mil attack stat. Guaranteed crit. It's going to do some really good damage. Additional super, though. Okay, well, it's a step in the right direction. It's a step in the right direction. At the, at the very least, this will allow the AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta to get some attacks off, um, which we, you know, really needed. So, it's not all bad. That's four attacks right there. Cool. Um, oh, no. Okay, so Super Vegeta is going to get super. This is going to do a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Look. RNG has just not been nice to us today, man. <laughs> RNG has not been super kind to us. That's okay, though. Um, should I pop the active skill for the Goku exchange into Gohan? I think. I think we should. I think we should. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, for the animation alone, it's worth it. But um, now we get to build up his, like, guard counter, I guess. And I believe after, is it four guards? You get guaranteed guard, right? I haven't had too much time with this unit because, obviously, I haven't pulled him, as you guys might know. So, <laughs> I don't remember exactly how he works. Because the last time I fully read his passive was, like, when the detail details first came out, right? So... Let me just quickly check. Let me just quickly confirm exactly how his passive works. Because I think it's a high chance to guard first. Um, no, oh no, no. It's guaranteed guard for the first three turns. And then if you get four hits in, then you get guaranteed guard, right? Or is it six? No, it's six. Never mind. So, um, yeah, it's kind of complicated, but... I, I get the general idea. <laughs> I get the general idea. You want you want him to take as many hits as possible, 
um, within the first couple of appearances so that he can get the guaranteed guard and also attack and defense boost and all that good stuff. Okay, so this should be good tanking as expected and 6.5 mil attack. Really good. Really, really good. And that does it. For the Tech Gohan, next time we come back, we should still have guard. Um, this rotation really worries me because of all the potential supers, of course, from all the Saiba, or sorry, <laughs> not Saiba mid, from the Cell Juniors. Um, in fact, I think just to be safe, I'm going to pop a Aider. Right, that makes sense. And... Let's put Super Vegeta in the first slot. We're gonna go for type advantages, although it doesn't matter too much with this guy because he has guaranteed uh, crits. So I'm actually gonna go for the tech one. No. What makes more sense? Who's attacking the most? It might be the tech one actually, or maybe the fizz one. Okay, let's go kill the fizz one. And of course, I'm gonna go for the STR one with Super Saiyan Vegeta, and then we'll go for the tech one. With Super Saiyan Goku. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's see. If we get lucky here. Additional super, please. Because I think he can one-shot each of these guys. So if we take out if we can take out two of them. Bro, like <laughs> how is this possible? <laughs> how is it possible? That he has that much additional in his hidden potential. Hey, we haven't seen a single, a single additional super yet. I mean, luckily at the very least, like, we got some good tanking from the AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta, who, as I said, is really impressive. Next turn, when he attacks, he should be close to like 4 mil attacks that. Because, uh, I think we already got the 5 attacks in. So he should get the additional attack and defense plus 100%. And then after one more turn, um, he'll be getting guaranteed attacks effective against all. So just a really good unit for sure. I would still obviously prefer to get um, the new units, the Gohan and the Goku and the Transforming Cell, but he's definitely a nice constellation prize. It's definitely nice to have nonetheless. Okay, so we should take out at least two of the Cell Juniors here, and this is going to be a counter, and this counter hits really hard, guys. This counter does a lot of damage. Especially if it's a crit. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Dude, that is, that is just ridiculous. A counter doing that much damage? I mean, I feel like it might rival the... Uh, LR Super Saiyan 4 Godita. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you guys on JP probably know better because I haven't used the LR from the 7th anniversary that much. But I feel like, in terms of damage, this Gohan, the counter damage might rival the Super Saiyan 4, 4 Gogeta. Did I say Vegeta before Gogeta? Either way, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, moving on. <laughs> we got the Cell, which is the second last enemy. And I'm going to, uh, yeah, let's leave all the Vegetas where they are. I think they're all in the perfect place for them. I don't really trust STR Super Vegeta's defense right now too much. Um, the AGL Super Saiyan Vegeta will be really tanky. And we have a token attack as well. And then the uh, God Vegeta at the end should be fine defensively against the Int Perfect Cell. So... Let's get this token attack nice. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And I think we'll do at least like half his HP here. And of course, an additional super attack would be great. But even the one hit, the one super, will be doing a lot. Okay, so I overestimated him <laughs> a little bit. I was expecting more damage, but I guess we didn't take a hit first, so that did, uh, you know, reduce his attack boost by quite a bit. Um, here's a super from the Incel, but the Super Saiyan Vegeta is quite tanky. 
So that could have been better, but it's not too bad. That definitely could have been better. <laughs> Damn, all right. There we go. Um, the good thing is we did heal back up because of the token attack. And I'm going to put the Gohan in the first slot. That's some really good defense right there. Just about 300k or just under 300k. And 18k super for the Super Saiyan Goku as well. It's going to heal, but... I mean, 520k is not really scaring anybody, right? Um, when I first saw the the heal like ability, I thought he was gonna be like a battlefield enemy and do you know four or five mil per heal. But I mean, 500k is nothing. Like we can definitely live with that all day. Uh, damn! Look at the HL go on too. 5.7. It's not looking like we're gonna get the active skill though. Unless I try really hard to take damage, but if I do, then I'm kind of concerned that we might die. So I don't think it's worth the risk, to be honest. There is the Super Saiyan Blue transformation for the STR, or rather the AGL Goku. Um, I do think it's a good idea to put him there, actually. We're going to have to break up the Vegeta's, but I mean, I can't really afford to put the STR Vegeta in the first slot, so um, I mean I could put the AGL Vegeta there potentially, but the AGL Goku is the safest option. So we're gonna do this, it should be fine, and this allows us to also save our items. We got two more items, I don't want to use one right now just in case we need it a little bit later, and uh, ooh, this might hurt a little bit, but we'll survive for sure. I'm quite confident. There we go. Okay. That's, that's actually good. That's actually good. I think this means that next turn, we'll be able to get the AGL Gohan active skill, which once again is super rare. Super, super rare. Okay, STR Super Vegeta definitely can hit harder than this, but it's just unfortunate that he has types of advantage here. So um, I can't afford to get him a hit before he attacks. Not much I can do about that. AGL Vegeta though, putting in the work. Putting in some good work. Let's go. There we go, okay. Okay, oh, yo, yo, you know what? Okay, so this is actually amazing because we get a full board now of same type. Wait a second. Oh, I forgot there's another condition to the active skill. Yeah, I got excited for nothing because I forgot that you need also to have um, a androids ally or enemy, right? I thought it was just the 58% HP or below, which we do have right now. But I forgot the reason I was able to use the active skill in the last run was because we were facing the Cell Juniors, right? So, I was gonna be like, yo, okay, so we can get the full board of orbs, we can get the transformation, it's gonna be crazy. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's not quite what's gonna happen here, so. Really sucks, man. <laughs> really, really sucks. I guess I'll just give all of them to the... The Vegeta because he deserves them. I'm gonna pop the Princess Snake too just to be extra safe and make sure we get through this and uh, that's gonna do it for the video guys. Um, you know great all-around run actually a lot more efficient than my last one because in the last run I actually got like you know really close to dying multiple times so this is a better showcase of my abilities as a Dokkan player but we didn't get the AGL Gohan active skill which was what would have made the last video extra special but um, that video technically doesn't exist because I wasn't recording it just really sucks man it really sucks because like those are moments you can't really recreate like I can't really recreate that you know Gohan active skill because it just kind of happened by chance by luck 
and it's just so hard to get. That's why this guy has been like a meme forever, right? Like the active skill is widely regarded and I still think to this day is regarded as like one of the worst active skill conditions ever, right? Or one of the units with one of the worst... What am I saying? English is hard. Um, <laughs> basically, he's still known as the unit that has one of the worst active skill animations. Or sorry, not animations. Uh, active skill conditions ever, right? Because of just how hard it is to get. There's way too many things in there um, to make it like a, a reliable transformation to get. And it was just really exciting that I got it last time. But, I mean, what can you do? It is what it is. It is what it is. And Vegeta should finish off the Gohan here, maybe. If not, then... I guess... Oh, additional attack. That's nice. Can we get additional super here? No? Okay. So, one more turn. One more turn. And there's a super attack, I think... Goku will be okay because of the damage reduction, right? Yeah? Right, perfect. And here we go, guys. So we're gonna let the AGL Vegeta actually finish things off. Because he was, you know, pretty good here. And he's also one of the new units, so it just makes sense. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned, honestly, about another super, so I'm just gonna use my last item. Because, because why not? And offensively, everyone's looking great. I could have actually put the AGL Gohan in the first slot and not use an item, but it's fine. Like I said, man, we're gonna let the Vegeta finish things off just because um, he is one of the new units and he deserves it. So there you have it, guys. Uh, Cell Game Saga stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history cleared, technically for the second time for me for the first time for you guys watching me do it and I still have a lot more things to catch up on like the Super Battle Road stage, Extreme Super Battle Road, Ultimate Clash, Infinite Dragon Ball, wait no, this is Infinite Dragon Ball History, um, the Extreme Z Battle for Ultimate Gohan, uh, Ultimate Clash, uh, I feel like I'm missing some other stuff but you guys get the point. That's gonna do it for today's video guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.